welcome to Tonic Studios. I've got our lovely Leo with me today. This is the first time we've been together, yeah, isn't it? It's the first time. It's going to be fun because we are going to bring you the brand new boxes. Now, I have to say, these are absolutely beautiful. They really are. So this one here is your cherished chest. Try saying that three times quickly. <laughs> no, can't. And also your cherished cadeau. Cadeau. <laughs> we've practiced that, can you tell? That, that's the posh bit. Cadeau. cadeau. That's as posh as we're going to get, yeah? But you have got two huge die sets in here and the finished results are beautiful. The construction is the same for both of them, but one is square and one is rectangular. So let's have a look at what you can actually make because I have to say, I'm in love. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one looks very metallic. It's all been done up with our Nouveau Mousses in there. Absolutely spectacular. There is the most ingenious little clasp at the top there as well. So to get into your box, you literally pull its little feet up and this little bottle comes off the top. That comes away. It's like, um, can you remember the old film with the Pandora's box in? Yes. Yeah. And then this opens up, revealing that internal panel inside there that you can put all your little goodies in. But you don't have to have that bit if you don't want. So, for instance, if you are, if the husband's giving you a nice pair of earrings, mm -hmm. yeah, or a nice ne ne necklace, you could actually put them inside here. So, you could have the little earrings inside there. But it really is the most beautiful presentation box with that internal lip on the inside. And they, they're so easy to put together. So let's just put all that to what to one side because what you are going to need is you're going to need two of that shape. You're going to need two of that shape, two of your rectangles and then of course your little bottles in the interiors. But this here is your main construction. So first of all, we're going to make, first, first of all, we're going to make these, these little inner bits here because this is actually a double box. So inside here, we're going to make that inner bit here. So rather than put our box together like so, we're actually going to put our panels on the outside. I'll explain. So if you imagine this being on the inside of my box, if I glue it that way, you're going to be able to see my glue tabs. So no. You're going to glue your glue tabs on the outside edge this time. I know it feels very, very strange when you first do it, but we're literally gluing them on the outside edge. So it's a bit backwards for us, isn't it? It is. It is a bit, bit backwards. It mm -hmm. takes a bit of going your head round, but once you get there, it's, it's all right. So you're going to glue those on this outer edge. So let's bring that one in. So you can see that those two are going to come and sit. And you can see that that little chamfer, let's bring it in there, that little chamfer is perfect to the edge of that box. So just literally just hold it, wait until your glue, glue dries. So let's bring that one into there. Just hold that for a momento. And this is basically the whole of that interior box. So let's... Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so now these bits here, I'm bending out because these are what you're going to glue your frame onto. Very well designed, this. I like how it goes together. It's nice and simple. Who was it that did this one? Do we know? Was it Toby? I feel like it's a Toby. It's a Toby box. <laughs> you can always tell a Toby box. <laughs> they always have some clever something to them. They do. So you now your frame, you can see that you've got your glue tab. So your frame now goes on the top of there. So that is how you're going to get your internal little box. We just hold that a little bit longer there. And just give that a little bit of jiggery pokery so that it fits on there. Absolutely perfecto. So now you can see that you've got 
that inner trunking, let's call it a trunking. <laughs> I got told off uh, earlier for not using the word button. I use the word click click. Oh. Pressy, pressy. Pressy, pressy. <laughs> See, I just, you know, the whole Welsh thing that people call a microwave a popty ping. I'm sure this is like. A popty ping? Popty ping. I, I'm pretty sure this is like Welsh folklore. Because I've no. never heard anyone refer to a microwave as a pop tea no. ping. It's, um, is it genuine? Pop tea is oven. Okay, and ping because... Ping is the name of microwave. Yeah. <laughs> as a non-native, I, I didn't believe that. that, that, that. <laughs> we call a lot of things different things in York, Yorkshire, but never a pop tea ping. Pop tea ping. So just, <laughs> just holding those edges in again because you do need to of these internal box boxes. So once those two are stuck on that outside edge, we're then going to bend the other panels back out. So now I can bend these panels back out. So that is gonna give me my glue tab for my actual frame to sit on. So let's bring that frame back in. I love the frame because it's got detail on it. It's, it's got the gorgeous, emboss on there, isn't yeah. it? Nice looks, embossing. Looks lovely with your metallic cardstock. Mm -hmm. So that frame is just going to go straight over the top of there. Just holding that into situ. Tell, tell you what. There we go. Do you want me to hold that? Yeah. You, you hold that one. And I'll start to make the exterior of the boxes so remember you need two of these and we literally now are going to go through and we're going to stick all these edges together so i am going to bring my high tack in this this time because you know i'm such an impatient person <laughs> you know glue is i've all, only got two hands so. glue is all, all right but now bring give me high tack any day so let's just place my high tack on here and this is going to stick together as you would normally expect a box to be where you bring in the sides over okay so let's bring it in tabs go on the inside of this one they do go on the inside of of this one because you want your tabs to be hidden don't don't you so let's bring that one in so you can see where where we're going so so far you can see that that side of the box is this side of the box. And we're going to do exactly the same principle as, as the other. We're going to bend those little babies in and bring this down. Now, at this stage, I do actually find it easier to actually stick that top lip in. I find it gives me a, a better flat edge to glue to. Yeah, so just by bringing those edges in, I'll tell you what, you hold that one. I'll hold that one. Well, yeah. I, I stick this one together. It's great having a Debbie McGee in it. It's <laughs> brill. It's absolutely brill. Glamorous assistant. Yeah. Or assistant. Oh. <laughs> you can it's fall so out with someone really easy, can't, can't you? You know, I baked last night. I, I know. Stuff in. But Are you? you you can't have any <laughs> Not for you, you. What did you bake? I made some uh, Biscoff millionaires upstairs. Oh, lovely stuff. That's not what you called them last night. Oh, no. I, I wasn't... <laughs> I was going I'll, to I'll drop you in it. I'll drop you in it. Don't, yeah. I, right. I was going to make some debauched brownies. Should we yeah, make yeah, Is that yeah, a better yeah. way of putting that? Yes. But I, I changed my mind. <laughs> And we so went for Biscoff Millionaires. Just bringing this this one in. You can't get away with anything, darling. I'm, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I work with Karen Allison. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just sticking these top edges in. As I say, it does give you that perfectly flat area for that frame to actually go over the top. And it does give you a better finish if you're sticking these edges down because you're not fighting against your cardstock. So just holding that one in. So we're looking good there. So now we're gonna come around around the edge. Is yours glued a little yeah, bit stronger than mine? Yeah. yeah. So now we're gonna come in and we're gonna place our adhesive 
all the way around that edge. And then these babies are going to slide in. And literally, once it's in place, turn it over and just hold it upside down. Yeah, because that is going to give you one side of your box. And I have to say, when you've made this yourself, you're going to realise how, how firm this is because you've got about a centimetre here of card. It's giving you like a, I want to say an insulation, but it's yeah, not it's like insulation. It's wall, it is it? a double wall, yeah. yeah. So just holding that one on there. So let's swap over. Yep. You, you hold <laughs> that one. Let's bring in some more glue onto this one. You can see how easy they just literally all slot into each other. Really, really easy. It's a perfect fit all the way around. Be a nice little just you know little presentation box. Mm -hmm. You could have like a little row of these. If you had like a really fancy nail varnish that you yeah. wanted to show off, instead of putting them in a box, you could just have a little line of these. If they're in like little cabinets to sit them in. You know those really expensive bottles that you only bring out once? Yes. You wear it once and then it goes on a shelf. Yes. yes. <laughs> I've, I've given up now. I just go to the nail bar. <laughs> I wish I could afford to do that now. I'm so it was past my job, unfortunately. Well, yeah. So all those little edges are on there now. Now we're going to do... You see this internal box bit here? We're going to do that internal box. Now, as I say, you don't have to have that internal box if you don't, don't want it. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring that into play now. So what that is, very simply, let me pull that tab out so you can see, is just two of those with a tab and one with that bottom tab there. And all we're going to do is we're going to bring that in. And I'm going to do this so that I've got to work it out, first of all. Uh, yep. So that's going to come into there. And I'm going to stick that onto the glue tab. Oops. Get rid of that. I'm going to put the glue on the other side as well. And I'm going to stick that onto that side. So that is going to, oh, that's just come undone. Let's just take that back. This is why I don't like using wet, <laughs> wet glue. Give me hot, hot glue and just um, sticky tape. And I'm happy, good girly. So that's going to come into there. Uh, mm, I will use glue. So this now is going to sit. You see how that's going to go into there? And then that little tab there is just going to sit on the bottom of that lip there. So we're going to put a little bit of adhesive on those sides. So that's going to slide into there. Get that little lip right into the bottom of there. Just pull it out so it's level. And then these just literally sandwich in to those sides. So you've got now that internal box in there it looks so much more complicated doesn't it when you open the box yes and that middle part looks really complex and it's, it's like, really not it's I, 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 I love how i love how tight it is mm -hmm. yeah it's a very snug fit. it's a very snug fit inside there now to stick these two boxes together you can see on this one here all these hinges you've got all the hinge work in there and that is what's going to stick your two parts of your box together so you can see it looks like a little bit like a jigsaw piece and you're going to just fold that in half and that's going to give you your hinge so let's put this box together so turn it round sandwich them together and we're going to now do this i've got to work out which side i want my hinge on i want my hinge on this bottom edge here i'm going to turn that round to you on the bottom edge because this is going to the top so i'm going to put that into there making sure that we're level and then i'm going to bring my hinge i'm going to cheat use <laughs> use wet glue at home for yes. this all right but i'm going to cheat because otherwise we'll we'll be waiting for it to dry so 
I don't have the narrow tape to go all the way down, down there. So we're just going to come in and put this onto here. Clearly your grammar assistant was unprepared. Oh. <laughs> Darling, we've got that many bits of tape. I just get covered in red lining tape, left, right and centre. Right, there we go. When we do, um, <coughs> excuse me, when we do shoot days like this, where we'll do a couple of videos in a day, you'll know this towards the back end of the videos we've shot that Jodie will have bits of red tape on this part yeah. of her arm and then a different part of her arm and then on her hands and yeah. it just gets everywhere. It does. So I line it all up. Oh, let's see if I can do it this I'm not very ham ham fisted. So line it all up so you've got your straight edge there. And then we're going to wrap this around to place that onto one side and then wrap it around itself and that's going to be the hinge that keeps that whole thing together and then of course you're going to put your hinge on the other side but you've got that hinge there you can see how that box literally feeds into the other one now the other little bit that I thought was in ingenious was the actual clasp because what I didn't show you I forgot to show show you is let's let's do it as we, we can see that actual bit there so taking your two long strips you literally glue that into there okay so that's going to make your bottom bit of your wrap all right so so you can see how this is going to come up and around your boxes you can see how that is going to feed into your bottle. So this here is your bottle. So let's slide that one into there. But what I found a genius was how these two little bits here were kept down. Mm -hmm. And that is these little bits. Looks like a sergeant stripe. It does, yeah. So they... You fold those up, you need one on either side. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your wrap, you're going to wrap this around and stick one over the top of the other on the back there. Over the top. So that becomes a slider. And you're thinking, well, what, what is she doing? <laughs> None of that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Can you see how that bit just just slides up and down? Like a watch strap? Yeah, it's like a watch strap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, let me do it on the gold one because you'll be able to see perfectly on the gold one. So bring your two little legs up. Put your bottle over the top. So your little legs will fold back. And then... Those little watch straps come in over the top and just hold it in place. And hold it in place. I thought that was genius. I thought it was such a clever, clever little locking system mm -hmm. on the top of that box. And that's how that little clasp holds together. I, th I think it's just absolutely a genius. I really do. So that's your rectangle one, but the square one is put together in exactly the same, the same way. Mm -hmm. I do. And do you know what I really like on this one? Have you seen this? It's like a little keyhole because it's a lock. It's a lock to my heart. Oh, lovely stuff. <laughs> that's very cute. So let's open this. This is our translucent card cardstock. Absolutely. Is it called Firestone something or other? Fire, fire something, yeah. It's beautiful. It really does give you that sort of enamel yes. effect. Love it. And you can see inside, you've got that little presentation pouch inside there. But I have to say, this is really a fantastic double wall, sturdy, tight fitting. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, depending on what colours you like, I, I feel it changes the box. Absolutely. So, that to me is 
very high class, very mm-hmm. very, very, very posh, la di da. Jewelry in that one, absolutely. Where this one, which is the same box, is more the teenagers mm-hmm. sort of feel the lipsticks. Yeah. The, there's just so many different ways. I mean, the the detail dyes in them as well. Gorgeous I mean, patterns. that the scrolls of that is it's like a vortex. Mm-hmm. Absolutely beautiful. And then a nice. Black Marie. Yeah, the co- I mean, just look at the colours on that one. Absolutely superb. And even if you don't want to use all the patterned dyes, you can bring in your patterned papers inside there as well. I mean, the clasps mm-hmm. are beautiful. You've even got your little ribbon sliders as well that's got the love in in there and as you can see they are going to give you the most beautiful boxes so you have got the cherished chest right that George <laughs> put my teeth in and then we've got the cherished cadeau cadeau or cadeau yeah. I'll have to remember that no cadeau so these are the amazing brand new boxes by Tonic Studios and as you can see they are really really easy to put together. So we will see you later, don't forget to join us on all our Instagram, all our social media and like and share and we will see you later. Bye! Bye.